Well, we're supposed to figure out what question Aaron was we're doing. Supposed to bring the question. You were supposed to bring know. the question. <laughs> oh, that's not how it was whoa, supposed to work. Whoa, whoa, easy, boys, easy. So, I have a question. Oh, okay. Well, Shall we have my question? Sure. What's your question? Sure. Aren't all Christians just trying to convert everybody? Oh, that's Ooh. such a good one. Let's go with that. I knew I should have brought that question. Yeah, all Christians. <laughs> I knew that too. You. Let's go and see what the answer is. <laughs> have to get some horses so right. we got a we got a things here do you know what, what are these what these are, are do you know what they're called they're um i don't know take a guess what do you think they're called bridle no the close oh. uh oh. harness oh so close it's an h an it's h not, it's an h but it's a think about this what's another word for stop Halt. Halt. Halty. They're halters. Halters. Halter. It's a halter top. It's a halter top. No, not a halter top. It's a halter head. A halter head. Okay, so we're going to get a couple horses here. I'm thinking the nose goes in that hole. I'm going to go this way. Oh, yeah. Look at that. You sure know how to put on a halter. Halter. I've put on a halter or two in my day. I no, so. I haven't. Velvet <laughs> says, James, we want to go to there. Because look, James, there's a uh, whole bunch yeah. of grass. Don't She's you want to eat grass? James, don't you want to eat grass? Don't I think you should show her how to eat grass. Don't give her bad ideas. <laughs> 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 look, she's like, So you have to say, Velvet, I got a better idea. Yeah. I got to show you something really cool. We're going to go into your stall. Yeah, we're gonna go inside where it's nice and warm. We're gonna go inside where it's nice and warm and where we're going. In. But, but in the meantime, so make sure you don't hold this part because right. I'll get your hands if she jumps. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna All open right. the gate. Here we go. And you're gonna head to the barn. I'm gonna keep. Uh, let's keep a short lead. Yeah. So that if you try to go for the stuff that you don't want to go for. Muffin, or you wanna? <laughs> I can get muffin. That's it, James. Muffin. Don't, don't step on my feet. Look at all the horses are getting excited. The action's happening in here. You have to go in first, because otherwise, look, she's too fat. You really squished. Just squish me, all right? Yeah. What are we going to do with the boxes? You know what they are? They're not boxes at all. They're not boxes at all. They're life rafts. Life rafts. They're life rafts. So guess what? We have a, we have a little challenge for you guys. <laughs> You know, how do you, and it's the same kind of th thing, we had a question about, um, aren't all Christians trying to convert? Well, there's, there's some different ways of thinking of that, but we're going to think about today, we're going to think about the horses, and we're going to think about how are we going to convince the horses to do something for us and with us? Because we think it's a cool thing to do. And I don't I know how I could get a 2,000 pound horse to do what I want it to do. I know. So that's, we're going to start with maybe like a 900 pound horse. Fair enough. We're gonna fair enough. A little smaller that's horse. a fair idea. So we, can, we can test it out with a little bit smaller horse. How do you, what do you think? Of I that? think that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Okay. Sounds good to me. All right. Let's do this. We got these leg wraps. So wait, we need, we need a horse though. So let's go, let's go get, I'm going to get you a horse. Guess what Velvet wants to do. Wants to walk around and do whatever Velvet wants to do. Velvet wants to eat grass. She wants to eat grass, but right now there's no grass. She can't eat any grass. So we got a little challenge. Just like you were saying, we want, aren't all Christians wanting to convert people? Well, we want to guide people maybe to show them the cool thing that we have in, in Jesus. But with Velvet, we're going to say that we have to get Velvet on the life raft because we know that Jesus is really the life raft, right? Mm. If we don't have Jesus, we have no life and we have no raft. But there's a couple of things that are going to be a bit of a challenge here. We can't touch velvet. And you can't, <laughs> and you can't, oh, velvet's going to roll. So velvet's like when we talk to our friends and we say, hey, I got this cool thing in Jesus, and they say, yeah, not for me. And look what velvet's done. She's walked away, and she's gone to a whole other spot. Huh. But then, like our friends, she might come back and say, well, 
Tell me a little bit more. So now, guys, we see if you can get Velvet <laughs> onto the raft. Okay, which one are we trying to get her on? Let's get her on that raft. Okay. Yeah. Velvet, come on. Hey, I'm going to pretend I have food. Come on. Velvet. Oh, we can't touch Velvet. Okay, we need to think of some ideas because I know that we just had this big argument, James, but we got to start working together. She's more interested in you. Maybe you should come into the life raft. Why? Because I'm something she knows. She knows you. So will you come in the life raft with us? I could. Okay, let's go to the life raft. Okay, so what if you take me? See, this is like you might encourage them by taking something that they know and bringing it with you. James, come to the life raft. I think maybe we've, we're onto something here. We're onto something. Now that we're all on the life raft, oh, look at this! Look at this! Success! Look at that! We got velvet in the life raft. Very good. So, so like you can kind of see then that um, velvet, velvet wasn't really interested in coming until it looked like something that she uh, she felt she belonged to. Yeah. So she belongs to me. Uh, like she knows me better. So when I came to the raft, mm -hmm. then she thought, hey, whatever you guys have there, and that's the same as what you could say to somebody who you were trying to talk about Christianity, you have to make it look like something that they want to be in. Yeah. Not something that's kind of up there, <clears throat> far out, and they're like, yeah, some people have that, but I don't really. So what happens if I go over here, though? So now you don't have me. And we can't have you. We can't have me. I'm actually going to go right out. Oh, there we go. Oh, boy. Okay. Suggestions? Ideas? This is going to be tricky. We can't touch velvet, and we don't have Kathy's help. Who we, like, scare her? You want to scare a horse? Go! Oh, we got velvet back in. Maybe velvet knows one of us. Maybe she's... Okay, maybe she'll come with us now. Let's just... Wait, you go on one side of velvet, and maybe we could corral velvet into the other one by walking with velvet. But I don't want to stand behind Velvet and get kicked. What's she doing? Rolling? Is that a good thing or a bad thing? You want to roll? Okay, come on, Velvet. Come on. Come on. Come on. I have, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, let's walk this way. Like, no. Let's go this way. Come on. There's. There's treats over there. Okay. Here we go. Let's walk to the, let's walk to the, oh, look at this. We're, we're getting close. We're getting close. Hey, we did it. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> well, we technically got Velvet into the life draft, but she didn't stay. <laughs> I'm gonna try a pool noodle. Maybe Velvet would be interested in a pool noodle. Velvet, what's your favorite color? Blue, orange, pink, or yellow? Can you ask? Oh, Velvet, come here. Velvet. Well, I'm gonna guess for you, blue. Look at this. What is, no, no, no. You're supposed to go into the life raft, not lying down. Heaven's sakes. Do you like this? Okay, Velvet, come here. Velvet. I don't know. I'm trying to trick a horse into getting in there with a pool noodle. Oh, maybe we, could we corral? I don't know if you can corral. That doesn't sound like a good analogy. She does not sound impressed. What's this? Come here. Come here. Okay, I'm going to put this in here just, just because she might be interested. Okay. Oh, there's things that we can do. Remember how their eyes were. Okay, let's go this way. Oh. Shouldn't like that. <laughs> okay, well, hang on. Let me go get the other one. All right, new plan. James is going to try and corral this giant pony with two poo noodles. I'm going to bring the life raft around into James. We're going to bring the life raft to Velvet. So let's see how that works. Okay, well, we got, we made our own life raft with pool noodles. And she doesn't seem to mind. No, you stay there, sweetheart. <laughs> Don't move. Don't move. What are you thinking? 
Maybe if we maybe if we can keep her in there. Nope. Oh, oh, okay, let's Okay, let's let's back it up into the pool noodle life raft. Back it up. Back it up. I can't. Well, that did not last very long. Okay, let's try crawling her again. Okay. Okay. Does this gonna work? Okay, you're gonna do another one? Okay, we got it again. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Velvet, you did great. I don't know if that was the right answer, but. Very cool. So sometimes it just takes a really creative solution to get somebody to see Jesus. And this worked perfectly. Hey, Velvet. This worked perfectly. Velvet, you're the star of the show. Uh, Aaron and I and, and many other Christians, you know, we've, we've had this experience with Jesus where he's changed our lives and made it better, right? And so it's not so much about converting people as it is uh, just presenting them with the solution, right? And trying to lead them towards that. Uh, so, yeah, this was a great example of uh, being gentle in that uh, and sensitive to the feelings of the individual and uh, not being forceful about it. All right, there you have it. We are here at the Back and Beyond Equine Center trying to answer this question that I think is very damaging for some people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, aren't all, all Christians just trying to convert people? Uh, and so, you know, the reality is, uh, yeah, there's a lot of Christians who, who are just hyper-focused on that element of sharing their faith, right? Uh, they're just very, they've been conditioned and trained to, uh, to evangelize and, and to try and convert people. And, you know, it, it's easy to get uh, distracted by that and even to fall into the trap of it's all about numbers and and sort of forcefully converting people. But uh, that's not what it's supposed to be about, right? We're not there to convert, but we are there to help, right? Uh, and so we know the, the positive benefits of having Jesus in your life, and we want to share that with people, right? And we would love it if people uh, come along for the ride, right? But again, you know, at the end of the day, it's, it's up to you uh, whether you decide to do that or not, and uh, we're fine with that. Well, that's it for today. I'm Aaron. I'm James. I'm going to push James to his death now. Ah!